jet planes left to rust on a runway in Athens. A former airport, this vast space was converted into an Olympic park more than a decade ago. And now, it is home to thousands of refugees stranded in Athens. Laundry lines the entrance to the terminal. Most here are from Afghanistan, but also Pakistan, Iran, and Morocco, barred from crossing the border because they are considered to be from a safe country. While they wait in limbo, this is where the Greek government has placed them until they can find more permanent shelter. I want you to take a look at this. It's almost as though they've preserved it as a kind of a museum or a time capsule. And if you can see up here, they still have some of the signs up. Paris, now boarding, London on time. There's something very surreal about having them camped out at an abandoned airport. Every hour, planes used to leave here for Paris, for London, and now all of those refugees want to get to those exact destinations, but they can't. So there's nothing for them to do but to wait. At the former stadium, where Olympians once competed for gold, Afghan kids now play with a deflated ball. Residents invited us in to see how an estimated 3,000 people are living here. This is a pretty extraordinary scene. There are families sleeping out here in these abandoned buildings. Children, mothers. Inside, a sea of gray UN blankets supplemented with thin, padded sleeping mats. There are no beds, only the occasional cot. It took one month for Mustafa Saidi to get here from Kabul with his wife and two daughters, smuggled in by car and boat. It was so dangerous. Like so many here, he has only one destination in mind. In Germany. Why Germany? So Germany accept the refugee. They decide to go here. But the borders are closed now. So yes, we pray. This is the warehouse of souls the Prime Minister of Greece warned his country would become. Not a refuge, but a purgatory of fading hopes and broken dreams. Atika Schubert, CNN, at Helenikon Airport in Athens, Greece.